The G15Q Alliance represents anybody who's diagnosed with G15Q all over the world. We are not proprietary. We want to, with some, something that we want to work with other organizations that um, might represent some part of our our um, our population. So, if it's isodicentric or interstitial duplication, we really are an all comers. We want to support. We want to connect other families um, to really have have something that's strong, a, a strong community that they know what they're they know what everybody else is going going through. Also, our patients teach most of the clinicians. They know more than most of the doctors ever will, um, at, especially at this point. And really bringing the larger sense of community to that and a one strong voice when it comes to advocating for their children in terms of treatments, in terms of designing pharmaceuticals is really the key to success and finding out more about what we can do to help these kids and help these patients and possibly find some sort of better treatments and possibly even a care. Um, in the last two years, we, they've really have kind of come together where we've brought a lot of really big players into this game where they have the ability, the knowledge, and the wherewithal to really bring this into more dedicated treatments, um, whether it be pharmacological or even behavioral treatments to deal with the symptoms that dupers are kind of specific to dupe 15Q syndrome. Um, we have preclinical models. We have several mice, mouse models that we have helped fund, we gave small seed grants, in which turned into larger investments from NIH and also from different um, private funders. So we're, we're very lucky to say that we do have several mouse models that we can try different um, experiments on, whether it be phenotype and looking at symptomology or developmental trajectory or even some possible drug screens.